Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I've heard the passionate comments by the member for Viewfort South and the member for Castries East. In particular, the member for Viewfort South commented and encouraged St. Lucians to be different. And I agree with him that we are different. I don't think that's a question. Um, because the particular bill before us went into consultation mode for 11 years. Um, my legal counsel who's here would tell you the heated meetings, especially with the, member from, the members from the SDA Credit Union, the president of that board, Mr. Brian Samuel, the consultant, Pastor Paul, um, some members of the Credit Union League, Mr. Shane Felicien and Ms. Diana Leo. They argued, and more than anything else, they wanted to keep the essence and philosophy of the Credit Union. And we tried as much as possible to incorporate that and to have sort of a balance. I heard the member spoke about, I, and that is always the issue when we start calling names. It is not my intention to remove the honorable member from history. <laughs> um, but in terms of the history, I am always amazed as to how the Honorable Member most times can give us a little lecture. But you know, one of the things I would like to see is the documentation of that history because it is necessary for us going forward. Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Member made mention of um, having the Chief Justice within the bill at clause 298. This is the, the, the Chief Justice, uh, the appointment of the tribunal. And that is actually in clause 298 of the bill, Mr. Speaker. And when I looked at it, the Chief Justice appears in clause 298, 301, 302, 303, and 304. Uh, and that is as it relates to the appeals tribunal. And maybe what I propose is to remove the word Chief Justice and to replace it by the minister in these uh, five clauses, Mr. Speaker. Um, I believe after this amendment, the hundreds of credit union members would all be happy at our outcome, especially on the consultation that we've had to have this particular bill. Although it is the, the Cooperative Society bill is a harmonized bill, the St. Lucia version of it is completely different to the original bill, Mr. Speaker. I believe when we reflect on what we are doing this afternoon, it is our government, the government of the St. Lucia Labour Party, putting the people of this country first. In this particular instance, we are putting the protection of the credit union funds first. We are protecting the savings of the members, the civil servants, the police officers, the nurses, the teachers, the farmers, and the fishers, Mr. Speaker. So I want to thank members for the support, and I really believe that at the end of it, we would have a stronger credit union sector, Mr. Speaker.